Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to talk about my absolute most ordered, most loved, most valuable Amazon purchases. We've got Amazon Prime Day coming up, and I thought it would be a good time. And I will link my video that I did Friday up here because I showed you some new stuff from Amazon, some really good designer inspired things. And I don't want you to miss those because I was pretty happy with that. Okay, first of all, first, foremost, my ice maker. I have, everybody says, you have Chick-fil-A ice. I have the GE Cubed Ice Maker. And I will say that is probably one of my biggest luxuries in life. I use that all the time. I got my brother and his family one for Christmas and they loved it. They even said that my niece drinks more water now. I love it. Like I could not go without it. It's actually my second one because the first time we didn't use distilled water. I'm pretty sure it's distilled. John buys water to put in it and it got kind of clogged up. He was having to clean it out a lot. So we ended up getting another one, but that was, I think, three years ago. They are so worth it. It is, I think your whole family will appreciate that. The next thing we order on repeat is my favorite seasoning. As you can see, this one's almost out, but John orders it I don't know, like four or five at a time. And it's not that we can't get this at our local grocery store or Walmart, but it's always sold out. It is so good. It's just the Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic. And this does not upset my stomach because if you don't know, I'm carnivore and it's mostly due to gut issues. I have a strong sensitivity to vegetables and some seasonings and fruits definitely. And there was one that we were trying that had onion in it, and I loved it. It was so good, but that one upset my stomach. And a lot of times you won't know until you have eaten, like, it's kind of like when the Starry Soda got me, because when they replaced Diet Sierra Mist with Diet Starry, they changed aspartame, which I'm not allergic to, to sucralose. And sucralose puts me in a tizzy for weeks and I didn't notice it till after I'd been drinking it for about a week so that happens so if you're like me and you're sensitive this does not upset my stomach at all and everyone loves this seasoning this is one of my latest favorites one of my dear Instagram friends told me about this I love it and I am a self tanner hater I hate it I end up doing it every year because when you're getting ready for spring and everything and you just can't deny that you look healthier and more vibrant especially here on YouTube with a little bit of a tan well this is for your face and I have loved it I put it on after my skincare I use Obagi New Derm I usually wait about 15 minutes to let my skincare soak in and then I spray this when my hair is in the towel and I love it. I, I spray a little bit down my neck because I do sit in the sun a lot. I'm a sun lover, and but I don't tan my face, mostly due to the fact that I use Retin-A and I have had melasma and all of that kind of stuff. I don't know if I told you about that time that we went to the beach. I'll never forget it. I can remember where we parked. I remember thinking that day, Brooke was a baby. It was when we used to carry that, oh my gosh, that menagerie of baby stuff. I mean, the umbrella, the thing for the umbrella. We had this big zip flying saucer thing and I still wouldn't trade it for anything. And poor John was like a pack mule and I would have Brooke. And that day, for some reason, I thought to myself, I'm gonna just get a tan on my face. I'm gonna get some sun on my face. And I swear, when we got back in the car, I put down the thing, I had a mustache in one day. From that day on, I do not go in the sun ever, even in my car, without makeup on or sunscreen. I think mineral makeup is my favorite, but I do enjoy having a tan face. I just love the way it feels when I get up in the morning and I look so much more vibrant. It just makes you feel good. It's amazing you know, how that affects our psyche because I'm always going to put on foundation. I do think it makes your foundation look a little bit better. 
But there's just something about waking up with like that healthy glow. I know a lot of people say that with the microblading, but to me, when I had my brows microbladed, it was weird when I got up in the morning and I had brows on with nothing else. Maybe if you did the face tanner and your brows, <laughs> you'd be set. This is just something I bought probably a while ago, maybe at least one, maybe two years ago, that I have sitting up here on my coffee table, and I just like it. I enjoy it, and I think they still sell it. They might even sell a white one, and they might sell it in different sizes. I have this one, and I always have it sitting back here on my little acrylic coffee table. I'll see if they sell that on Amazon. I think I got that from Walmart. And I just love it. It's one of those things that just makes me happy when I look at it, along with my, an old, what is it, Cosmopolitan with Sarah Jessica Parker on the front. I've had that magazine, I don't know, let me see how old it is. Oh my goodness, August 2015. And I just love it. I mean, I love everything about it. It makes me happy. The other day I was watching a video from House of Valentina and she was saying things to not decorate with. <laughs> I always know when I watch those videos, somewhere they're gonna name something I do and I'm fine with it. It was don't use magazines. And I do get her point, like just random magazines, but I think when it's something special like this, and if you are and always have been a magazine lover like I am, like I would devour a magazine because I was really into them when my kids were small and we didn't have the internet. So I would just, I'm serious. I would go, oh my gosh, look at that. I would go through each page and I couldn't wait to see what makeup she was wearing on the front cover. I mean, you guys, I love it. So I know what she's saying, but I say if you have a magazine that makes you feel good, then display it. I have two Chanel, uh, it's kind of like their catalogs, on my nightstand. And there's just something about this one. The second one they sent me, I wasn't as much into, but I love it. I love the way it looks there. I love the way it makes me feel. The bad thing is I've been using it kind of like as a coaster instead of putting a coaster on it, and I've messed it up. I'm mad at myself over that. So that is, how do I go off on these tangents? I, I just do. I love that right there. I like seeing that there with my little disco ball and my plant, all of that good stuff. Okay, so let's go into sunglasses. This is the best thing ever. This is my preferred method of storing my sunglasses. I have two in my closet room. I have them in my drawers right by the front door and then I have them in my nightstand. And they stack up nicely, you know, two, three, four, whatever. I've got two, there's four trays, but they're too deep in my nightstand because I am a connoisseur of sunglasses and that is my favorite. I don't necessarily want to display mine or have a rack or anything like that. I got the idea of putting them right by the front door when I was visiting my friend Sheila Fajal. She loves sunglasses too, and that's where she kept hers. She actually just kept hers on a really pretty, I think it was like a Jonathan Adler tray on her foyer table, and they were so, she wears really funky sunglasses, maybe funkier than mine, and they just looked so pretty on that tray right by her front door. That way you can just grab what pair you want to wear with your outfit that day, and then put them right back. So I really love these. I have ordered, I don't know, maybe 10 or more. Then the next thing is sunglasses. This has been the year of Amazon sunglasses. I love them. I wear them all the time. I would say Amazon sunglasses and Preve Revo, and then some of my designer sunglasses, but these are on rotation. These are my latest you know, funky ones. I have these and I have the, gosh, these are dirty. I have these and I have the ones with blue. A lot of times I'll just buy a little set because they're so inexpensive. These are really nice and really vibey. And if these are too crazy for you, which I understand, there's plenty on there that aren't so crazy. 
like that. I just love them, but I, you know I love funky sunglasses. These are the ones, these are probably my most worn, and I definitely have every color in these. My favorites are the ones with blue lenses, but I have these, and this is a go-to. Okay, so this is gonna give you that funk tap down a little bit, tame down a little bit. Not as crazy as these, but oh my gosh. Now, these feel cheap, but they are cheap, and they're light, they wear well, they're still worth it. These actually feel nice. I mean, these have a good weight to them, but I, I recommend these for the faint of heart. <laughs> And you're still really not because these are funky on their own, but I really love these. Okay, let's go into like makeup towels. This is the Stands Out Makeup Remover Cloth. This sucker works. I have tried that makeup remover towel so many times. I've tried the little ones, I've tried the big one. That's just not, I'm just not gonna go through that. But this one is real soft. You get it, it's good and hot like your shower. Don't wring it out as much as you can. Wring it out just one good time and just lay it on your face. And I swear you can just go like this a few times and it's gone. Even all of this crazy makeup that I wear, like my eyeliner and everything, I don't wear waterproof, but I do wear stuff that stays because I live in a humid climate. And this works. It works. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Then my other favorite, favorite towel, and this is also considered a makeup remover towel. And I do think that it probably does that. But for me, I like this. I have both of these in a drawer. And I like this one after I've already washed off my makeup and I'm drying my face like you would a towel or a washcloth. But because this has a little bit of Camilla, Camellia oil in it and it's a double fiber, it is so soft and it gets right up to my lash line. I just feel like I can really, really cleanse. And it's also a little bit exfoliating. It's just such a good thing to have. If you've tried these, will you please let us know what you think in the comments below? I have given these as gifts and everybody loves them, but they are kind of pricey. And I'm just curious what you think about these, but I love them. Lashes, my favorite lashes. I have three or four go-tos. This is two of them. The, this is one pair I have on today. I wore them on purpose so you could see the difference. Typically, I wear something like this, and I do order these from Amazon or Walmart, but I think most of the time Amazon, and that is because they don't sell these everywhere. They do sell Kiss Jubilee, but they don't sell these Bare Affair. Now, I always trim at least three or four off the ends, so it ends up being like a, about a half lash for me, but I have smaller eyes. These I order, I love these. Oh my God, they're so good. They're just a teeny, tiny, teeny bit less intense than the Jubilee. And then these, oh, this is an old school fave. I think they call these Stevie now, but they're really Red Cherry 43. Does that show you? Yeah. Okay, see how the Red Cherries are thinner and they're not crisscrossy. They're more just flat. They do get a little bit longer, but I trim, I think, four off, and the band is super, super thin, so you can get it right down to your lashes. I can wear the Red Cherries without mascara, if that tells you anything. So I have them on today, and I actually have on some new makeup I got, and it's some Edward Bess. I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been here, I used to love Edward Best lipsticks. So I got some stuff and I will link it below. Anyway, so love these. This is one of those things, you know, when I go to the the page, it says you have ordered 20 times before or something. And that's, that's these. Another thing that is my absolute favorite, it's one of those things, you know how like when something just gets you and you love it and you can't even describe what it is, is that rosemary candle. 
It's not pretty. It's just plain white. It's kind of expensive for a little one. It's like 30 bucks. There is something about it. I, the reason I even got it is I was on like a little trip with um, some friends, Marnie and some other girls that do Instagram, kind of like an influencer trip. And Kendra Scott hosted us for a dinner. Right when we walked in, I went to the restroom and they had this candle burning. And it just hit me just like that. I absolutely loved it. I took a picture of it and I've been ordering it ever since. I don't like the other scents in that line. I just like that. If I could just stick with that candle for the rest of my life, I would be fine. And it's kind of like my signature home scent. Like if I'm burning it and Brooke comes over, she was like, oh, it smells like our old house. You know, it's just like our scent. So I love that thing. And I really, I have ordered that like so many times. Okay, I'm like bouncing all over the place, but that's the way we are, isn't it? My knives. This is a carnivore must have, or if you eat steak at all. These are the Victory Knox steak knives. The first set I got are like multicolored. That was when I had Fiesta wear. And then I got a black set. I think, I don't know, it's been a while. I mean, this is like at least a year or more old. These are so sharp. We actually, like I, I like to have a filet every once in a while. And you know, they're usually really thick. And a lot of times John will cut one in half for me and we use this knife. We use it for everything. I found out about these through my mom. And my parents are like knife connoisseurs. Like I can take my stuff over there and have her or my dad sharpen it. They're just into stuff like good, good cooking stuff and good knives and all of that kind of stuff. And these are amazing. They are must have steak knives. I, I hate the kind that just basically tear up your steak until it, a piece comes off. These really cut it. Okay, my notebook. I did stray for a little bit. I strayed onto the Erin Condren notebook and Marnie Goldberg, Miss Gold Girl, she is the one that suggested that and I understand why. She is left-handed and the reason she likes it is because she said it doesn't bleed like when she goes across the page because when you're left-handed, I guess you're going across what you've written. I can see how that is true because that paper is serious, and it um, I felt like it was eating up my pens. It was just too burly for me. I really like this one. I will link that one down below in case any of you are left-handed, but this is my favorite, and it's just the good old bandeau. Every day it gives you the date, um, it gives you pockets, and I always, I, I try to be particular which ones I pick out. There's a lot of them. Um, there's a lot of different ones I like, and I have used these for years. I feel like they have brought me good luck. This is my planner. It's kind of like my journal too. Every day I write what I'm thankful for. I fill this column, what I'm thankful for, and I try to put new things each day. And then I put my goals. And then like right here, tomorrow, I'm gonna post this Amazon video. So I this is my planner and kind of like my journal. That is too. Every day I write down how much I weigh, I write down just different things so I can look back and, you know, try to be somewhat organized. I'm not a big like spreadsheet kind of girl, but I do like to have that. Another thing, you know, that I'm obviously passionate about is clothes hangers. Clothes hangers are a big deal to me. I didn't know that I kind of liked them until I was sewing and my mom brought me one that was an antique and then I, I just loved it. I hung it up on my china cabinet and I put this really cool tassel on it. If I can find it, I'll put it in here. I don't know if I have a picture or not. But I, then I just started, you know, picking up different fancy clothes hangers. I have some from Chanel. I have some different ones. But for my everyday, these are my favorite. And they're just the white wooden clothes hangers. I detest the velvet ones. And I still see people recommend them all the time. I can see why you would use those if you're limited in space. But I, even for that, I have a really thin white plastic one that is better for that situation. 
I hate them. I hate the way they stick to everything when you're trying to get it out. I just, I can't stand it. It's, I, I use some in John's closet because a lot of the ones I had, I just used for his stuff. Even when I'm trying to hang up one of his shirts, just the way it won't slip right on, I don't like it. But these have this little groove, you know, for your straps and they even hold other things. They have, see how it's kind of, the spindle thing is kind of grooved so it does hold on to your pants if you want to hang that. And then I get these pant hangers. They're my favorite, you know, these move all around. These are my favorites. I had gotten some little pretty gold ones, but they would get tangled when I would try to take a pair of pants out. And I'm telling you, once something irritates me a few times like that, it's out of here. <laughs> like I told you, I found some good designer inspired shoes. I just got these yesterday, but I'm going to wear them today and let you know. But they're that same brand, Cushion Air. And they're not extremely cheap. I mean, I probably still paid like 30 bucks for these, but I was looking for the studded Birkenstocks and I couldn't find any. I could find like Isabel Morant or a lot of those. And I just didn't know if I would wear them enough to invest that much. So I got these and I'm gonna wear them today and I will link them and then I'll put like a little note beside it whether I ended up liking them, but I think they look cool anyway. And I know that I love this brand. Okay, I'm looking at my list. I've been keeping track of this list forever. Okay, my baseball caps, like the one that I showed you in Friday's video. I'll put a picture up here. Love them. That is just something I've never, I always hear people talking about it. I've never taken advantage of that, but goodness, talking about something to have for your bad hair day. And I love when I'm walking to have that on because I've been reading about how important it is, especially at sunset, for your brain to, it's like a connection between your eyes and your brain. And this was Andrew Huberman talking about it. I'll never find the video. But how your brain needs to see sun. And if you're wearing sunglasses all the time, it's not good. So a lot of times I'll put on my baseball cap so I don't have to wear sunglasses. So I've been enjoying that. I've been enjoying at the pool and I just, it's so good to throw on when you're having just like a second day or third day, second day for me, I never go three days, but a second day hair. So love those little caps. And I especially like that one I had on the other day because it blended in with my hair and it wasn't so in your face. So that's something I wanted to tell you about our scales. Every morning I weigh and I have this app. So you can see this morning I weighed 121.8 and then I write it down and then it gives me my BMI, my subcutaneous fat, fat-free body weight, body water, skeletal muscle, um, body fat, all of those different um, and it, my metabolic age is 49. And it gives me all of that stuff and it's just kind of neat, you know, to keep up with stuff like that. And I've just enjoyed it. So that's something that I really recommend. Last time I told you about them, they were sold out, but I'm hoping that they link again. Our space heaters. I have one down here on my feet and I love it in the summer because we have to kind of keep it really cool in here to keep the humidity down. But sometimes it gets kind of you know, cold, so I like to have the heat on my feet, and Chanel likes laying down there with the heat too. And then John and I both have one on our sink counters, so that in the winter time, you know, you can get out of the shower and it's not so cold in there. And then I have just gotten spoiled to it, where I turn it on to, I dry my face tanner with it in front of it, I dry my Benefit, professional face spray with it. I also, what else was one other thing that I use it for? My hair. A lot of times if I'm letting my hair naturally dry, the, the very, very back of it won't be dry all the way. I will, I'll link that video right here of my hair drying routine because I, I actually show you how I do it. I will dry the rest of my hair in that space heater. They are the best, the best. Okay, I had here um, my matches. I've really enjoyed having, I have them in the bathroom downstairs in my other bathroom, 
just little packs of decorative matches for your bathrooms and your candles. And I, you know, I always like the little candles. I've enjoyed that. And, um, oh, my rugs. I'm kind of phasing out of my shag rugs, but only after, what, three or four years now. They're Safa Vea, which is a good midline brand. It would kind of be like the Honda of rugs. And I have this one out here. We just got rid of the one in my living room and we had one in my old house. They're just good rugs. I would recommend them to everyone. They're vibey, shaggy, that color's pretty, and you can still vacuum them. You know what I mean? They're not so nappy that you can't vacuum it. That has been one of our favorites. And my Turkish beach towels. Love those things. And I really have some high-end beach towels because I'm a beach girl, but I love those because they're so thin, they're easy to wash and dry, and I can just stuff like three towels for John, Will, and I to walk over to the pool and right in my little Walmart beach bag, and it's so easy. So those I have really liked. And then last but not least, and I have not really done this enough. I've got a little bit over here. I'll, I'll put some pictures in here. Coffee table books. Coffee table books. They are so valuable. And this is a little tip that my interior designer gave to me. And she told me to share this with you guys. Like one of my favorite artists and one of my art pieces that's coming in for my home is Slim Aaron's. I could just get 10 of them or more. And it, they're expensive. But there is like a Slim Aaron's coffee table book. So that way you still get that artwork and that vibe in your home without having to spend so much money. Then there's, I'm ordering that one. Um, there's a Vogue one. There's a Kate Moss one. And you guys know I have a lamp out there stacked on like a Sophia, Vor Sophia Loren one and um, like any lamp or any flower pot, anything, don't they're not just for your coffee table. Anything looks better when you set it on those books. So pay attention to like the colors, you know, the vibe of the colors of the 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 end of it. And you know, make it like I said, make it your own funk. I love that. And like just yesterday, I was watching that funny girl, Caroline Winkler, and she was saying things that she hated in interior design. And I think the first thing she named was the Restoration Cloud Couch, which I have, but I get her point and that doesn't bother me. So I kept on watching. She was saying how much she hated like the, what is it? The beads and the chains and all of this stuff that's just so popular right now. They still sell them in like Pottery Barn and, you know, I'm not saying that they don't look good, but that what she said is kind of how I feel about it. Why do I want to go get big beads? I would rather have something that is more, that pertains to me and my family, like seashells or, you know, disco balls or anything like that. Like things having to do with going to the pool, palm trees. I love palm trees. And I think that's, fun. So this is an opportunity for you to buy those coffee table books that speak to you. Put them under the cheapest lamp and it's going to look better or any bowl or anything like that. So that is, I think that wraps it up. I don't know how many that is. I decided just to do as many as I could and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is actually, let me stand up. Let me stand up and do this whole vibe here. So this is the pair of pants I showed you in my last Zara video. I will link here if you didn't see it. And then this is the AYR Air inspired tank top that I showed you. I might like it even better. The kicker is going to be how it washes because I love how it's got a little bit of stretch. And then these are, oh, okay, I know that I don't have my microphone. Let me grab it. Okay, these are the trousers. And one of you said for me to keep the mediums, and I might do that. Okay, and then these are the little Burks inspired that I just got. 
And this is my look of the day. And let's see, I've got all my Jenny Bird big old hoops. They make smaller ones, but what I like about these is see how they clip right into themselves and so your hair doesn't get in here. And then what else do I have on? Okay, just my ideal necklace that I never take off. And this ring that my parents got me, it's a sapphire. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you find some good stuff. Love you guys, and I'll see you very, very soon.